Welcome, amazing friends. And let's look at this question we have on the board. Please don't be scared, okay? It's very simple. Now, carefully look at it. Is this something you can do? Okay, before you do that, let's read the question together, okay? We are told a container is in the shape of a cuboid as shown below. When you look at this shape, you know it is a shape of a cuboid, okay? And a cuboid, you know, is also a three-dimensional shape because this shape has thickness. I hope you can get that. Now, we are giving these are the measurement of this shape. And the next statement says, a con the container, that means this container is to third full of water. That means the water inside it is to third of the whole shape. I hope you're getting the explanation. Now, we are asked also that a cup holds this amount of water. Now, what is the greatest number of cups that can be completely filled with water from this container? Let me show you what you will do. So, we're going to begin this with solution. Now, this is what we have. Let's still redraw that shape just to emphasize a little on that. Okay? So, if you redraw it, this is what you have. I hope you are with me there. Now, what do you have? Now, in this shape, this is 19, here is 6, and here is 30 centimeter. Now, we are told about a cup, and this is the cup, okay? And this cup is holding a water, and the water inside that each cup can contain is 275 milliliter. Now, and this water should be taken from this container. So you'll be taking it away from this container. And this container is how many? It's two thirds full of water. Two thirds. So what does it mean? Supposing this is the total length. Supposing this is the total length. It means that two thirds should be just from here to here. Did you see what I'm showing you now? So how do you get the two thirds of the water inside this? Because it's until you know the two thirds of the amount of water inside this. It will help you to know how many cups of water you can take away from this. I hope you are getting what we are doing. Now, how do you do that? What you need to do is, is it possible for you to get the volume of this shape? And if you are getting the volume, why? Why volume? Now, let me answer that. Volume simply means the amount of space that any solid shape occupies inside. I hope you have now seen why we are looking for the volume. The amount of space that a solid shape occupies inside is what we call volume. And if you know the volume of this particular cuboid, it means the total space that this cuboid has inside gives you the volume. So if you can get the total space it has inside, it will help you to know how much water it contains. Then you can now answer the remaining questions. So we have gotten a clue. So what we need to do is to get the volume of the shape. And the volume of the shape is just simply volume of a cuboid. And what is the volume of a cuboid? It is just simply your length, your breadth, and your height. So we're going to have length times breadth times height. This is just what you use each time you're looking for volume of a, cell, of a cuboid. And here our length is 30, multiplied by 6, and multiplied by the height, which is 19. And when you multiply this together using your calculator, you are going to have, so this is going to give us 3,420. Remember, because it's volume, the unit is centimeter cube. So this becomes the volume of this shape. That's the total space inside this shape. Okay, now that you have gotten the volume of the shape, how do we now get to third full of water of this particular container? What do you do? What you need to do to get the amount of water, we are going to change this unit to suit the water because the measurement of water is in what? In milliliter. I hope you are seeing it. So we need to change this unit of centimeter cube to milliliter to help us know the amount of water this shape contains. And to do that, just remember that when you have one centimeter cube, is the same thing as one milliliter. This is just a key. Have you seen that? So what it means is that the total water that this shape should contain should be what? So you can just simply say that the total water it should contain should be 3,420 milliliter. 
since you have seen that this is the same as this. So centimeter cube is same thing as milliliter. So it means that the volume of the shape the, is the same thing as the total water inside that shape. Did you see what we just did now? Okay, now that you have known the total water that this shape should contain, we are not interested in the total water. We are interested in the two-third, two-third. So what you need to do is to get the two-third, we are going to now have, so we continue it and we have two-third of the total water inside. Remember we said that the total water inside is giving us this. So two-third of 3,420, just quickly use your calculator to do this. We are going to now have, so this is going to give us 2,280 milliliter. So you see that two-third of this we have 2,280 milliliter. Okay, you have gotten two-third of the water inside. That means the water inside, like we know, should not be filled because it's two-third. So what it means is that it may be this portion that contains water. Other ones do not contain water. I hope that is clear. Okay, so let's go to the question. The question now says, what is the greatest number of cups that can be completely filled with water from this container? What do you do? When you have something big, each time you have, just remember that anytime you have an item that is big, and you want to break it down, what mathematics do you apply? You just apply your division, okay? Because you know that the total water here for the two-third is this. So if you're using this cup to take away water from this, you want to know how many times will you take the water so that the water inside here will get finished. So what do you do? The total has given us this. So if you want to get the number of water, so let's go to the question now. So we have number of water... So we have number of cups. So we're going to have this to give us number of cups that can be completely. So let's continue. That can be completely gotten from this. We just simply be the total water inside for the two third. For the two thirds, please take note. For the two third, we have this. So it will be two thousand two hundred and eighty. When you divide it by, remember that this cup has a measurement of 275 milliliter. Okay, so divide it by the milliliter of each cup, which is 275 milliliter. And when you do that, remember this one is in milliliter and this is in milliliter. So you can easily divide. Okay, so when you do this division, you are going to now have, just quickly do it with your calculator, you are going to have 8 point. We are going to have 8.2909, okay? But we are told, what is the greatest? What is the greatest, the highest number? You know, we cannot take the water in this amount, okay? The highest whole number part of this answer is 8. So what is your conclusion? Your conclusion is that this cup is going to contain, take only 8 cups of water. It is going to take only eight cups from the whole water, from the two-thirds of the water inside this particular container. And this becomes our answer and not this. Because this one gave us decimal, but this gives us the greatest number of cups of water that can be drawn. And if this tutorial really helps you a lot, let us know how much in the comments. Sharing this, we have those who are having issues with this to learn the skills with this plate. And remember to subscribe for more tips you'll get from us. Give this tutorial a thumbs up and I will see you quickly in our next class. Bye-bye.